going on, YouTube? Your boy Sam from Team Zara actually here. And today, guys, I'm coming at you with a very exciting Blue Eyes Fusion deck profile for the post Megaton 2019. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Let me tell you guys right now this deck profile is going to be very explosive. The deck is very fun. And not only is it fun, but the deck is actually able to produce easy OTKs with the brand new Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. The deck just has a whole new playstyle that you're actually able to adapt in today's metagame. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. And for those of you who are here on the channel for the very first time welcome to the channel consider on hitting the subscribe button and make sure you guys turn your notification bell to get notified on each time i upload videos that'll be absolutely amazing and if you guys want to see more deck profiles like these whenever a new set drops make sure you guys go down there right now and smash that 1000 plus likes that'll be absolutely phenomenal and near the end of the video which will give you guys some cool combos you guys can actually do with this deck all right guys enough talking without further ado let's just start it with the deck profile to start off with the monsters you want to play of course the three most beautiful blue eyes white dragons you guys will ever see on YouTube. So we got, you know, the Portuguese Blue Eyes White Dragon first edition, the DDS Blue Eyes White Dragon, and then the first edition Blue Eyes White Dragon from LOB. DDS is my favorite looking artwork. I only have one, unfortunately. I'm still trying to acquire two more DDS Blue Eyes. So whenever I find cheap ones on the market, I'm definitely going to be picking it up for you guys so I can bring out the deck profile. That way it's pleasing to the eye. So that way that whoever watches the deck profile can, you know, have something nice to look at. And that's why I try to have the highest rarity cards possible. I would use this one right here that I have. But this one is like totally beat up, man. So I didn't think it would be appropriate to use this for my deck profile. But anyways, Triple Blue Eyes White Dragon. Absolutely mandatory to play in any Blue Eyes based deck. Next off, you're going to play for its alternative counterpart. You're going to play, of course, Triple Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. This card is also one of the most important cards in the deck as well. Because the new Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. Whenever you use Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon as fusion material, that fusion monster will get to pop three cards on the field. Which is absolutely ridiculous. You guys all know Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon pops monsters on the field. Which is really good. And it's not a hard one for an effect so you'll be able to revive this card from the graveyard you can use this effect multiple times in one turn which is really good so let's say you summon blue eyes alternative white dragon you pop a monster and you send it to the graveyard and you're somehow able to bring it back from the grave you use this effect to pop another monster on the field and the most important part about blue eyes alternative white dragon is that you get to use it as a fusion material for blue eyes alternative ultimate dragon next we're gonna play of course triple white stone this card gets you access to blue eyes directly from your deck to your hand and there are so many broken combos where you utilize this card in your first and opening hand going first or going second it's a tuner which helps you get access to spirit dragon and at the same time time it switches blue eyes directly from your deck to your hand whenever it's sent to the graveyard to run off for our dragons you're playing of course the one red eyes dark is a metal dragon you can actually bring this card out directly from the deck to actually extend your combo plays which i'll showcase you guys the combo this card is one of the best combo extenders in the deck and it's really important to play for this blue eyes fusion specific deck so one red md all right guys so now out to our fusion engine you'll play of course triple lone fire blossom triple predator plant or for scorpio and last but not least you're gonna play double predator plant darling tony and cobra this engine right here is the most important engine for this blue eyes fusion based deck no i'm not playing garnet no i'm not playing brilliant fusion the whole entire purpose of the plant engine is to search polymerization directly from your deck to your hand and either lone fire blossom and orphan scorpio gives you two monsters on the board which gives you access to a free link to play i understand that not a lot of people are too fond of this engine in blue eyes but if you guys want to play the blue eyes fusion deck competitively if you guys want to take this deck to regionals i definitely recommend playing the plant engine because this engine is probably the highest ceiling that you guys will ever see in a blue eyes fusion deck and i definitely recommend you guys trying this engine out 100 percent i play darling tony cobra at two because this deck is a 40 card deck and if you draw the one cobra you basically can't combo off which is pretty annoying right so i decided to bump the predator plant darling tony cobra to two for this specific version i can't stress this enough if you guys don't play this deck competitively you guys definitely gotta venture into fields of using you know really good engine cards into blue eyes to make this deck more competitive and also to make this deck a little bit more explosive last but not least since this deck is a going second base deck I kind of want to play board breakers, so I'm playing, of course, double Gamma Seal, the Sea Turtle Kaiju. And last but not least, I'm playing Nibiru, the Primal Being, to round off for our hand traps in this deck. So this deck goes second. If you go second, you basically OTK your opponent with ease. And uh, Nibiru and Gamma Seal is just so, so good this format. Nibiru puts all the combo decks in check. I tried Nibiru in this deck. It works really amazing, especially for the fact that this deck goes second 100% of the time if you win the die roll. So if you see Nibiru against a combo deck, you basically just win the duel. Strikers is one of the most popular decks right now. And Kaijuing Strikers, so that way that they can't trigger off Widow Anchor, they can't trigger off Shark 
Power Cannon, you know, any of those uh, quick play spells during your turn. So uh, Striker is going to be one of the most popular decks in today's metagame because of Nibiru and also uh, Dark Ruler No More. Those six cards literally change the metagame to Strikers and uh, Control decks only. So uh, Gamma Seal would just really put Strikers in check. And if you're able to just drop the Gamma Seal on your opponent, all their back rolls would just be dead. So that way that you can just uh, freely combo off with your Predator Plan engine. Nibiru and Gamma Seal just re overall really great cards going second. You guys can play Hand Traps if you guys would like, but I felt like having Board Breakers is just more sufficient to play in this specific deck in my opinion. So Nibiru and Gamma Seal is just really good board breakers in this deck. So that's pretty much it for all the monsters playing the deck. Let's go after the spells, but before we get started with the spells, if you guys want to help support the channel, I have the brand new Egyptian God card play mat called God Amongst Us. This mat is probably one of the sexiest most crazy looking mats on my channel so if you guys want to help support the channel get your egyptian god card play mat today in the link in the description box below at tx1.com and for this week only use my coupon code txx10 for 10 percent off your entire order on play mats gods among us play mat get it today in the link in the description box below at tx1.com for the fusion spells we're going to play of course triple polymerization this card is absolutely broken with one white stone legend you can easily search three blue eyes directly from your deck to your hand you can freely activate polymerization to just make your Otherwise, alternative ultimate dragon from your extra deck. Next, I'm playing triple defusion. Not only can Darling Tony Cobra search polymerization, but it can search defusion. This card is insane. The whole entire deck, you want to pop three cards with alternative ultimate dragon and then activate defusion to defuse the ultimate dragon to bring back three blue eyes and attack for 9,000 for game. That's what the deck strategy is all about. And Defusion actually gets you there. Because you guys all know the Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. You can't attack the turn you activate this card's effect. So you want to summon this card, pop three cards, activate Defusion, bring back three Blue Eyes, attack for game. <laughs> it's like, it's crazy. But the entire strategy with Defusion and Polymerization is absolutely ridiculous in the deck. And that's another reason why these cards are just so good. Is because Predator Plant Darn Antonio Cobra can search these cards directly from your deck to your hand. And this is why I love the Predator Plant engine so much. Because it gets access to one of the most important key cards in your entire deck. Which is the Fusion cards. Defusion and also Polymerization. And the one Dragon's Mirror. Dragon's Mirror is nice, really good during middle late game to actually banish your blue eyes from the graveyard to actually help you uh, make your blue eyes fusions, which is really nice. And the only downside with Dragon's Mirror is that you can't defusion with Dragon's Mirror, uh, which kind of sucks because defusion specializes the monsters back from the graveyard, whereas Dragon's Mirror banished the material, right, from the banish zone. So if you activate defusion on the fusion summon monster that you brought out with Dragon's Mirror, you're literally wasting, like, you can't like you can still do it like you can still tag out but you're going to be unable to special on the fusion monsters back from the graveyard because the fusion monster is banished so that's the only downside about dragon's mirror but other than that this card is just like a free miracle fusion for the deck during mid or late game for our searchers we're going to play of course triple melody of the awakening dragons this card switches blue eyes directly from your deck most importantly it switches blue eyes alternative white dragon and the reason why it's important to search blue eyes alternative white dragon so that means you can make blue eyes alternative ultimate dragon from your extra deck right so melody is nice uh, double dragon shrine more your search cards you dump blue eyes dump white stone have blue eyes directly from your next your hand feed your graveyard for more dragons uh, which is really good and the last searcher is i'm playing the one uh, bingo machine go only the one bingo machine go i don't really like this card too much it's not mandatory to play in the deck at all but it does search blue eyes and also searches blue eyes alternative white dragon but at the same time melody of the awakening dragon just overall does a way better job than bingo machine go this card right here is obviously way better in the pure version of blue eyes so i felt like uh, it was appropriate enough to only play the one bingo machine go for this specific uh, version of the blue eyes fusion deck right so that's pretty much for the search cards all right guys now off to the extenders you're gonna play of course triple world legacy guard dragon uh and last but not least the one monster born and also the one one for one and you guys are probably wondering why i'm playing the world legacy guard dragon well you guessed it you are playing the guard dragons in your extra deck the guard dragons are not mandatory at all but it's one of the best engines you can actually play for any dragon based deck and, and i understand that a lot of people hate guard dragons in today's metagame but like i said if you want to play this deck to its most competitive ceiling you must incorporate meta cards in your deck and one of the ways to incorporate meta cards is utilizing the best link monsters in the game right now which is the guard dragon engine so that's pretty much it for all the extenders that you're playing in the deck for the extra deck for blue eyes cards blue eyes alternative ultimate dragon this card is insane to summon it you need three blue eyes white dragon three blue eyes white dragon not three blue eyes white dragon monster so you can't use polymerization with alternative white dragon in your hand to summon this card you can use alternative white dragon from your graveyard with dragon's mirror but you cannot use alternative white dragon from your hand if you just summon this card so if you have three blue eyes alternative white dragon in your hand you can't activate polymerization to fusion summon using those three cards in your hand because on the field in the graveyard it is considered as a blue eyes white dragon so this card pops one card on the field which is really good but if you use alternative dragon as a fusion material you get to pop three cards and this card cannot attack the turn its effect is activated so if you can summon two copies 
of alternative ultimate dragon in one turn you can pop six cards on the field uh, which is absolutely insane so you know two copies of him the one twin and last but not least the one neo blue eyes ultimate uh, dragon this card you can bring off augur pain or you confusion summon it during late game with dragon's mirror and just attack like three times and by sending you know these cards to the graveyard from your extra deck which is really good the only downside about this effect is that you need to uh, have no other face-up cards in this card for a synchro we're going to play of course the one is the silver dragon and the one blue eyes spirit dragon you can easily make this a blue eyes and also the white stone legend azura eyes silver dragon is really good because it's a monster reborn during your stamina phase or blue eyes which is good blue eyes spirit dragon you can get any effects that activates in the graveyard and at the same time you can tag out especially with azura eyes silver dragon during your opponent's turn uh, which is really good so the two synchros all right, guys, now off to our links. We're going to play, of course, uh, the Link Rebo for the Whitestone Legend to get access to Blue Eyes directly from the deck. The one side frame Lord Lambda. You can either use Land Bernocus, Underclock, you can use Beat Cop. But Lambda is just the biggest generic Link 2 monster. Uh, so I decided to go with Lambda. Now off to the Guard Dragon Engine. Uh, the one Skodred, the one Pisty, uh, the Guard Dragon LP, the one Argipain, Heretic Seal, Heavenly Spears, and last but not least, the one Borosaur Dragon. It's one of the best engines to actually help extend your combo plays. I understand that not all people are fans of Guard Dragons. If you guys want to make this Blue Eyes deck the most competitive and the most explosive Blue Eyes Fusion deck ever, you must play the Guard Dragon Engine, especially Argipain. Argipain can special summon uh, the Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon directly from your extra deck, uh, which is really good. So it's a free 45 body on the board which can't be targeted or destroyed by your portal card effect so if you can't get access to polymerization but you get access to argopane you can still summon blue eyes alternative ultimate dragon and at least pop one card in the field also going second if you get access to like blue eyes alternative ultimate dragon you pop three cards you can go into argopane especially in borosaur dragon to actually help ulti your opponent with ease right and last but not least we're gonna play of course the one number 38 hope harbinger dragon titan galaxy you can easily bring this card off of argopane or make it with two level eight monsters in your entire deck so that's pretty much it for the extra deck guys like i said i understand and not a lot of people are huge fans of this entire guard dragon engine but a guard dragon engine with the predator plant engine is just absolutely insane to get you access to all your fusion monsters in one turn and i'll showcase you guys a combo real quick with the guard dragons to make this deck a very explosive blue eyes fusion deck let's go off to the combo real quick guys the combo is absolutely ridiculous and it's very fun and explosive in this deck there are multiple combos you guys can actually do with this deck but this hand right here is basically the god hand for this deck if you open up orvis scorpio white stone legend and also world legacy guard dragon you basically have full ultiki combo with the fusion which is absolutely insane but if you only open up with these two you get access to three blue eyes and at the same time you had to draw four cards with saruja so that way that you can dig deeper to your deck to see more of your combo pieces right so without further ado let's begin and like i said before guys if you guys want to help support the channel make sure you guys get this awesome god among us play mat today in the link in the description box below at tx1.com and like i said guys this week only make sure you guys use the code tx to get 10 percent off your play mat normal summon over scorpio Hackney Scorpio's effect, we're going to send the White Stone Legend from our hand to the graveyard, especially when Don and Tony Cobra are directly from the deck. Cobra is going to activate its effect to search the polymerization directly from our deck to our hand, and the White Stone Legend, since, since it was sent to the graveyard, you're going to add a Blue Eyes directly from your deck to your hand. So the one Blue Eyes White Dragon alongside the World Legacy Guard Dragon. Link away these two. So you make Lambda. Now what you do is that you're going to activate World Legacy Guard Dragon, uh, target the White Stone Legend in the grave, special summon it, and you're going to link away the White Stone Legend. LP, White Stone got sent to the graveyard, searching you, another blue eyes, directly from your deck to your hand. So now you're gonna use Royal Legacy Guard Dragon to target LP, to move LP to the zone that's under Lambda. So since now you have two link zones pointing to the exact same zone, you're gonna activate LP's effect. To special summon Red Eyes, Darkest Metal directly from the deck. Once Red Eyes comes out, you're gonna activate Red Eyes' effect, especially summon the White Stone of Legends. Two, one, and one is a link four for so use your Skull Dread. You're gonna send the light, uh, Legend to the graveyard to make Pisty. Legend is gonna search your last and final Blue Eyes. You're gonna activate Pisty's effect. Revive back Red Eyes' Darkest Metal from your grave. Activate Red Eyes' Darkest Metal to special summon the White Stone of Legend from your graveyard. So now what you're gonna do is that you're gonna activate Saruja's effect to special summon Blue Eyes from your hand. So now using Saruja and also Red and D, Argy Paint. Activate Argapain's effect. You can special summon Blue Eyes, Alternative Ultimate Dragon, or you can special summon Boros Sword. It's all up to you. Now you can just link away these two for the Heretic Seal. And then what you're gonna do is that you're gonna synchro summon these two using the White Stone and also Blue Eyes, Spear Dragon. Okay, cool. And now you can activate Polymerization to fuse the two Blue Eyes that's in your hand, Twin Burst Dragon. All right, right here. And this should already be like enough damage at this point. It really, see what you can do is that instead of you can even just summon Borosaur Dragon off Argapain instead of Blue Eyes uh, Alternative Ultimate Dragon. If you have like like an alternative in your hand, ins instead of the Twin Burst, you can make a second uh, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon, and it's gonna you know pop three cards on the field, uh, which is really good. Uh, and then instead of this, you can just make a Borosword. Uh, 
uh, which is insane. So that's already game right there. And going first, you can even leave this on the field, uh, which is nice. Like, you can either make uh, Titanic Galaxy, uh, which is really good going first if you're point of force you to go first, right? If you're point of force to go first, I'll keep the polymerization in hand. I'll keep this in hand. If I'm point of force to go first, I'll definitely keep this in hand. Instead of an, an Argapane, I'll bring out Harbinger. Yeah, if my opponent doesn't get rid of this, I can make Boral Sword, make the Twin Burst attack for game. I can just tag this out as well. Uh, if I'm, my point of force is going to go first, bring a Zora Eyes, okay, which is nice. And on my standby face. Like especially uh, blue eyes from the graveyard. I can, I can activate polymerization to just uh, you know ulti my opponent the following turn, right? So the deck guys with this combo, you can either go first or second, depends on what you want to set up. But nonetheless, guys, this card isn't as bad going first because it's like a walking towers. Your opponent cannot target this or destroy this card with card effects. So the only way that they can get rid of it is just killing it by battle, right? And there's not a lot of monsters that can beat this 4500 beat stick, which is uh, pretty insane. So that's pretty much it. It's nonetheless very fun to play, very explosive, and it's just very nostalgic, just utilizing all the blue eyes fusion dragon bowl. So that's pretty much it for the deck profile guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know what your thoughts are make sure you guys get your tx1 merch today in the link in the description box below at tx1.com get your play mats today and also get your tx1 holographic sleeves today in the link in the description box below at tx1.com thank you guys so much for watching this is your boy sam from team sam signing out all right guys peace Let's go.